Good evening, I'm Kristen Bakke. Thanks for joining us. Despite the personal health and work challenges so many have faced during the pandemic, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention say suicide rates are dropping. Based on preliminary data from the CDC, the nation's rate dropped 6% in 2020. That's the biggest decline in almost four decades, and the highest rate was back in 1941. Medical experts credit a number of factors, one being more telehealth services during the pandemic. CBS 3's Emma Quinn spoke with Northland medical experts about why they believe telehealth services are helping. The national suicide rates are dropping. According to the Centers for Disease Control, they credit that to many providers now being just a phone call or virtual visit away. I think the telehealth is making a huge impact when it comes to interacting with people and the mental health struggles. Essentia Health Division Chair for Psychiatry and Behavioral Health Stephen Sutherland says the U.S. saw suicide rates climb from the early 2000s to 2018, but lately that trend has changed. In the third consecutive year with somewhere in about that five to six percent decline each year or so, we happen to be um, just in sort of a post disturbing peak kind of a phase of about three years into hopefully what will be an ongoing trend. Essentia Health has surpassed 400,000 telehealth appointments since March 2020. Eighty percent were for mental health. In Cloquet, the Community Memorial Hospital has seen an increase in patients using telehealth appointments for all types of care. There are times where physical therapy, cardiac rehab, uh, speech, you know, and, and occupational therapy, others we're also able to make use of that. Northland health experts say telehealth has become a new form of care they aim to continue in the future. This is a great option for them, whether there's physical challenges, behavioral challenges, other things like that. Um, I think virtual health, telehealth definitely has a role to help those people get better access to care. There is currently bipartisan legislation in the Minnesota House and Senate that could allow for more permanent telehealth services for Minnesotans all across the state. 